Hello there and welcome uh, to the hump day again. It is Wednesday and uh, today's episode of Yosemite Valley Zoo will be a bit different. You may have seen this from the title already. Today we are not going to build anything. Today we are going to plan some stuff and we are going to look at stuff that has been created in the last couple of episodes. I just figured that it might have been a little bit too much time lapse and less to, you know, showing off the zoo and what's going to happen um, because, you know, people seem to have lost a bit of interest into this project, which is totally fine because the initial hype is gone and stuff I totally get that and you know it's middle of the week potentially not that many people watch this anyways so I want to go through with those people who are really really enjoying it um, and I want to show off some things we are going to do so today is Monday I'm recording this just ahead of the time-lapse uh, what ahead of the live stream I don't even know why I said that um, and I will be uh, planning out more of the backstage area but now I'm just showing off a little bit of a few things so you have seen the parking lot area I decided to do some changes. I don't know if I do them today or if I do them in a, in a later stage. I will definitely create another um, joint coming in here, like a, a kind of connection between those two areas, mainly for the buses, um, because they can't go beneath the, the bridges over here. I definitely wanted to keep these bridges. So for normal uh, vehicles, like normal um, cars, that's totally fine. They will fit through. But for a bus, that wouldn't be necessarily doable. So definitely this is going to be going over here. I'm also going to change this way over here. The, the way it is right now, it's not working. But back then, it was just for me as a little bit of a layout idea. So I definitely going to change this into kind of a round way so that this is kind of the intersection you can uh, use to go up here or you just follow the right way to just go back into this area. And we definitely have to follow the road markings and stuff. But that's kind of time consuming, nasty work. I potentially will not do on um, on a live stream anyway, so maybe it's later. And yeah, people also suggested in the comments that we may also use some kind of signage stuff to bring uh, people towards the zoo, which um, yeah will be done by maybe footsteps of animal um, footsteps, like footsteps in the kind of, you know, colored or whatever footsteps, um, kind of resembling the actual footsteps of animals. I love the idea so much that I'm really looking into it. And uh, yeah, also for those of you wondering, uh, this entrance is also released to the workshop by now. You can get it uh, from the workshop, if you go to my workshop uh, on Planet Zoo, you will find this in, my god, how many uh, multiple issues do we have? That's nice for the guests, but anyways. So, if we move further into the zoo, we have this backstage area, and this backstage area honestly is... Um, it's something that I am still in awe with quite a bit because it fulfills a very, very, you know, very interesting need, but also it it just works at the position where it is, I guess. So I'm not even too sure what will go here, but we will have to do something that kind of blocks the view and yet is maybe a tiny habitat over here. We will have to see what this will be. Anyways, now we come to the very interesting bit. So what we've done by now is the bison um, habitat over here, uh, which you can see is a bit more crowded than it has be, been in the past. I have put in a few more of these wonderful creatures and you can see they are, well, they're not totally happy, but they are fine with the population. They are somewhat fine with the habitat. Um, they are not fine with the plants at all, but that should be, you know, it should be too much. Oh, you know what? They have no toy enrichment. Let's quickly do this because um, otherwise I will forget about this anyways later. So um, let's use that one. And what is toy? Is that the, is this toy? No, that's not. Okay, maybe what? Well, what is this? Just the rubbing pillar? I do want to hide this though. I just I don't feel this one is being too nice. Okay, I don't want to even edit the group. Can I just put this here? Yeah, here we go. Um, so let's see. Is the toy enrichment? Interspecies bonus is zero, okay, because, well, um, species enrichment, uh, food enrichment is only partly available, okay. So let's have these hanging feeder as well, tuck into a tree here, just to make sure that we have a bit more of those. We can also use multiple ones, maybe another one here, and just put another one. We can also use the, uh, we are still talking about food, right, the block of ice can go here, I guess. And damn, holy heck, how many do enrichment pieces do they need? So let's use that one also in here. So, God, because there's so many animals, right? So we put the other one just here and in the back as well. Um, we are in the green, so I do want to have my animals being happy. Um, let's give them also the, the ball to play with. Maybe we'd put another one in the back so they have a reason also to go here. Um, even though people and guests won't be able to see that nicely enough, but yeah. 
Um, another food enrichment item. One more. One more they want to have. One more. You know what? Let's plot these into that tree over here. Awesome. Now we are there. 100%. Uh, so overall welfare is a lot better. Now what we can do, what I totally forgot about, is we need to go to the entrance, which is over here. And we're going to give them the best food available. I don't even know why this is not put in by default. So what's the issue here? Um, I can't even see that. Okay. None of those is pregnant, right? Because I do want to make sure that they are not getting pregnant too soon. That's also one of the issues why I'm mostly... Oh god, don't tell me. Um, why I'm mostly just using it this way. Um, also about this one, um, I can't get rid of this animal because she's pregnant. And uh, you can't sell or buy or whatever do with a pregnant animal. So I have to put it back. Also, you have potentially seen that in action. Look at how this looks in the normal game. Doesn't this look just freaking awesome? I mean, the effects are just so believable and it's looking so damn good. I do need to put some more in here so the whole river gets a bit more of a flowing feel. Um, and I also, like what I figured is you can get this a lot, like we don't have the water treatment available over here, I guess. Let's see, water, um, oh we do, where is this covered though? Are you kidding? It's not covered, right? No, it's not. I mean, this little pond down here is covered, but... That's about it. So my thing is, why is this still clean? I mean, it will get dirty eventually, so we will have to hide something away. Anyways, what I wanted to tell you or show you is that if you put down some coolers, I believe this was actually happening. Where am I? That's the wrong area. Um, if we put down some coolers in the water, um, and let me just get rid of these um, things. So I put this cooler down here. And we're gonna decrease this whole thing to two degrees around, or like four, I guess. Okay, so now the whole system is decreasing, uh, or getting cooler, and I believe the water gets a little bit kind of uh, brighter and cleaner, and I don't know, at least I had the feeling, so maybe we have to see and how this turns out if we put the coolers in. Um, maybe this animal is now too cold. Um, really, I think it's fine. Last meal quality will get better eventually. Habitat, yeah, well, the, the interspecies bonus is not going to work. And the plants are also not going to work because I just don't care. To be honest, I just don't care. Uh, as long as the overall welfare is that high, I am absolutely fine with all the plants because I go for realism rather than just fulfilling all their needs. Okay, now as we talk about this area, you can see this is the pronghorn antelope um, little pan, as I call it. But they have so much fun. And I love the male one. I love the male one, even though it's pretty pretty like having a lot of scars and stuff but I still love this guy this dude over here we also need a lot of names guys you need to come up with a lot of names in the comments down below so we have 15 bisons one male 15 female and we have got three female pronghorn antelopes and as well as um, the one male one so come up with names please in the comments down below whether it's your, your names or realistic names I would go for realistic names though but yeah people also ask me to put this fence into the workshop I will do so uh, do so I can also put the bench cover in if you guys want let me know in the comments down below if it this would be something you're interested in but yeah just about to what I talked about in one of the episodes this is really the area where you can experience the zoo you know look at look at the I mean this looks absolutely cool if you're in here you can't really tell what is there you can go either the left way you have this wonderful rocky rock facade here to the left hand side with this little backstage area which is already hidden away pretty well um, some minor things have to be changed but then if you look to the right hand side you can kind of see that there is somewhat like a habitat but you you're not really able to see too much but if you go higher up here you can already see to the right hand side oh this is maybe a bit too dangerous over here I definitely need to get something in that this is closed off let me just let me just grab this piece over here and just rotate this in a way that it kind of forces the people to stay off. Yeah, that kind of does the thing, I guess. Now, if we go higher up, you can see there is the whole area is opening up for you. So to the right hand side, you have the wonderful view into this habitat over here for the bronghorns. And if you go a lot more to the left, you can already see the first glances of the bison. But if you go even further, it all opens up for you. And you can see in this open field with the wonderful facade of the like the, the face of the mountain here. And if you go even further in, you, you have this wonderful play with the rock here and the bigger face here. It's, it's actually, I think, pretty cool. This area then opens up to you. It will give you a nice overview of the zoo to this hand side. Uh, even though we have a lot more like hilly, uh, you know, things in the zoo. 
and this will be uh, definitely opening up a view for mainly this area and potentially you are not even able to see much more behind but anyways we're talking a lot more about views in a sec so then on this right hand side you can use the seeding area and have a wonderful view into the pronghorn antelope um, area I wanted to have this so you can see some bisons to the left or oh, you can't really see them but you can see something to the right and then if you go further down I wanted to block the view to the right hand side a little bit so that you are forced to look to the left hand side where the whole view into the zoo will be in the future now as you approach this area this big tree over here covers even more the view to the right hand side so that you do discover this way as you get here or as you get here from this side so this is kind of a hidden little alley you have to go in and then this whole um, wonderful thing opens up for you the, the habitat over here so this was kind of the design idea about this area now let me pause the game for a bit because I don't want to keep it running for the whole time because all the feeding station cannot be reached oh well that is kind of an issue right Ha! Huh. We have to see how we get a bridge done for the people to car to cross there, for the staff members. Maybe we even have to, to to do like a backstage tunnel. I think they would do it, right? They would use a backstage tunnel if we will would build this for them. I'm, um, you know, if we could only have a second door, that would be so much easier. Ha! Huh. Well, never mind. I wonder if you could use a guest gate, and then just connect not the guest gate but the the staff path only to it I don't I wonder if this would work and kind of anyways just a minor idea here I had for the moment anyways now let's come to the very important bit which is the next thing we are going to create now you know we could also already get rid of these path things please for a second because they were only oh my god okay we are not able to get rid of those um, I just created them to get rid of all the people that were still in the zoo um, for my planet of the apes habitat which as you guys know was created over here at this site okay so this is everything is deleted now i will be able also to flatten this all back to what it was um there's still a bit of a path left there is still a bit of path left guys we need to we need to get rid of it before we talk about what's going to happen with this area in general but also with the whole park it's it's gonna be a test and learn for me because it's it's not going to be very very nice from the get-go because there is so much more that you have to keep in mind but let's quickly take those last three four minutes I uh, want to talk about what the whole thing would look like so we are approaching this main street ish area we go into the zoo and now as you stand over here the whole view into the zoo opens up for you to the left hand side this is also why I created it this way it kind of is already an area which you can't see anyway so this building is the first one you see so that's kind of the zoo area here this is kind of the more natural area to the left hand side if we open up to the right you can see there is this facade or like this face of the rock and face of the mountain on the right hand side so this naturally comes up so this is the whole view you get right so if we go here that's the middle piece we don't want to look into backstage area right so this is kind of now I need to just paint this quickly for me because otherwise I do forget about this let's see what is the what is the most distinguishable? I think that's already fair. What about this? Oh well, I think I'm, I'm gonna go with that one. Let's just repaint this quickly. So basically, if you stand up here, you know, if you stand here, the viewport you're going to get is basically this. That's kind of where you look and that's where you look mainly. I mean, that's not the whole thing you see, but if we go back down and we have the the viewport this is kind of the, the view you have right this is the center this is mainly out of focus here to the left and right we don't need to focus too much on it but this is what you kind of see and I really want to make sure that this area over here like exactly that area has to be something that is in the view of people and does block away the main support stuff and so on so this has be has to be the main kind of habitat well actually we can move this a little bit further into this area so you have an even better view of that so we can we can shorten this to the back let's quickly do this um, it's it's really important planning it out this way because otherwise you run into some some serious trouble with the sidelines and stuff so this is something you really have to consider every time you do stuff like that so I really want to make sure that this area is the main focus point and then we are definitely going to do some kind of backstage right in here so this has to be our main backstage point 
where we definitely have all the backstage stuff working. I don't even know how to hide this, this will, time will show, but we do also need to have like a backstage access, which then goes right to the right hand side over here. And I do want to have like a connection, which goes right over here, down there into this area. It will be like a car road that is kind of connected. And then we also need to connect this area right over here. So this is mainly the, where the whole backstage stuff will be planned. And then I definitely want to make sure that there is something, I don't even know, I think I will go that way. So we have another access area, which is somewhat in here. And we don't also need to cross the river, right? The bridge will be here somewhat. And I want to kind of create like a double bridge, you know, a bridge area that is mainly uh, guest face, but also will have a hidden backstage area. So we get into this part of the park, of the zoo, which will be another bigger backstage area. So this is important for the planning. Now, as we go down again for the to see the view, you can already tell that we need something in here that is big enough to block this view. And everything that goes into this area or this area is mainly from this point over here, not too important because it will be hidden away in slight uh, terrain differences and angles and, and different heights and stuff. So it, it won't be that important to look at that. But this is the, the most important area. And yes, this is going to be looking less like bolts, I promise, in the future. <laughs> It looks absolutely like bolts and I'm also not even sure if this will be the only way to access the downside I'm, I'm actually looking into making another staircase that works with this face down here a bit more So like having a bit of a curvy stair or whatever we will mainly look into this tonight I don't know we will see um, Well tonight would have been Monday for you So potentially if you've been in the live stream, you know it already But then you get the idea of the planning ahead of the live stream But this is where I want to leave it for now because that's my plan This is what I'm going to work on for the next episode uh, focusing on backstage stuff so the next Wednesday will be basically this so tonight I'm working mainly on maybe what this will be so you guys will see now, until then, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this kind of different episode. You need to let me know in the comments below if you did enjoy this, because this will be then also potentially sometimes in the future, every now and then we will make an episode like that. And yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Until then, have a great week, and we see each other again tomorrow in the next Franchise Mode episode. Have a good one, and bye, guys. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching this video, I really do appreciate that. As always, uh, make sure to check out all my social media channels, you can find me everywhere under at RudyRedCamel. Also, big thanks to the crew, uh, you can see it on the left hand side right now. And as always, if you want to see more, you click that card on the top right. And if you want to stick around because you like the stuff you've just saw, you just saw, whatever, you know what I mean, just uh, click the sub button which is to the bottom right of the screen right now. But everything else I can say is have a great time and see you next time. Bye guys.